How much is my house worth? How many times do I get that question? I get it a lot and a lot of people just want me to spit out a number. Well, I'm going to talk today about things that affect what the value of your house is. So stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in Silicon Valley and I specialize in selling homes. Today I'm going to talk about things that affect that value. I'm not going to talk about what you should do to increase the value. I have plenty of other videos on that. Today I'm going to talk about factors that I consider, other realtors consider, and buyers consider when they're thinking about buying a house like yours. So number one, you hear it all the time in real estate, location, location, location. Location is key. It is kind of everything, honestly. And I don't mean just like location in terms of what city you live in. So maybe you don't live in Los Gatos. Great, Los Gatos, a lot of things are high priced high there. Let's say you live in Cambrian, but you're right next to Hillsdale Avenue busy street that's going to affect your value no matter how upgraded your house is no matter how remodeled it is it will affect the sale price so keep that in mind so that's a tough one for people because maybe when they bought the house they they're like well i can't really afford a house a couple you know blocks away but this will be great and we'll fix it up so it'll be perfect that will definitely help you will get more than maybe your neighbor that doesn't have as many upgrades but if you're by a busy street, it is what it is. And a lot of people don't want that. Number two, school district, huge in the valley. People want the best school districts typically. So let's say you're in Los Gatos and you do back up to Highway 17. Well, location isn't that great, but a lot of people will pay more for that house, even though it's in a bad location, but it's in a top school district. Got it? So backing on to 17 in a you know, reasonably upgraded home in a top school district will still sell for more and be valued more than a house, let's say in Blossom Valley, even if it's on this beautiful tree-lined street and has tons of upgrades, but if the school district isn't as good and it's a little bit further commute for some people for work, the value isn't gonna be as high. School district location, key. The third thing I would definitely consider is a floor plan. So even a great house in a great location in a great school district, but it has one of the weirdest floor plans. It is super funky and unusual, and you're just not sure how to kind of update it. You know, it's not like it's just a square house that hasn't been updated in years where, oh gosh, we could take down this wall and just redo the bathroom. It's just a weird floor plan. I don't know how to make it work. That's really gonna affect the value. Next is the size. The larger the house, usually the more money you're going to get. Even if it's not in the top location or top school district, there's always people that have a growing family. Maybe they have multi-generational family. They need a bigger house, more bedrooms. So the size of the house and the size of the lot will definitely usually positively affect the value of the house. And last but not least are the upgrades. So let's say you're not in the best location, not in the best school district, but you have a lot of upgrades and it's a great floor plan and it shows great. You're gonna get a higher price than your neighbor as well. Upgrades always help. There are always some people that they're kind of oblivious to a lot of other things. They just wanna walk in a house that's already done and beautiful. You're gonna get a higher value for that house. That's kind of obvious. But I hope that gives you something to think about your house. Uh, it's really disheartening when I have people come to me asking, what's the value of my house? You know, I've done all these great upgrades. But then I go and I'm like, gosh, it's still funky floor plan. Something still closed off, maybe a little Winchester mystery house-ish, uh, even though it's a big house. They sometimes feel like, gosh, Annie, isn't it worth a lot? But I'm like, gosh, there's still too many other things to consider. So you'll do well, but not as well as you might think. Use some asterisks by some things that buyers aren't gonna be happy with, so it'll affect your value. So be careful about doing too many upgrades if you have too many of the other things missing on your list. You don't wanna be the nicest house in the neighborhood that, and you've invested way too much in your upgrades that you're really not gonna get them out. And on the other side is if you buy in the right location, a good school district, your pretty much always do great. 
So I hope that shed a little light on how we come up with some of the values. Whether you like it or not, those things all come into play. So if you do want to find out what your house value is, go to my link below and I will hook you up with a great report. If you liked anything I had to say, do me a favor, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you on another video and until next time, have a great one.